Slim Shady. Slim Shady. I can't believe they beat us that bad. God damn, we motherfucking suck. How did we lose? I mean, they were just so, so short. Yeah, that one was cute, though. Man, shut the fuck up, Ken. Those little pussies need to get got somehow. No, you shut it, ass face. Yeah, you motherfuckers suck. <laughs> they were so short. How'd you lose? Humiliated, and in front of that fine little cheerleader they had, too. I wanted her so bad, but now I'll never be able to talk to her. Never! Yo, don't sweat it. I got a plan. I didn't see you after halftime, Slim. Where did you go? Let's just say I got bored. But I did find out the other team is having a party to celebrate their win. I say we crash it and get them assholes back. And get you laid by that cheerleader. <laughs> Caprio? Man, I can't stand that motherfucking pussy. Calm down, Big D. Just let it go. Yo, chill, Marshall. You know every time he sees some overhyped bullshit celebrities gotta beat him down? Alright, big guy. Let's dispense with the reality check. You know what? I saw you in that movie, The Beach, Biatch, and you suck too, motherfucker. Yo acting sucks, and you look like a Titanic bitch. And all you fake-ass bitches who ride dick need to get a beat down, too. Hey, guys, I don't know who you think you are, but this is my main homie, T-Quip. You know, the rapper, and he's got my motherfucking back. So, like, step off, G-Dog. Excuse me, that's my agent. Could you calm down? Hey, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, hey, man, I'm gonna kick your oh, shit. Oh, 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 beat you up. Yo, Dio, don't forget my party at Coochie's tonight. You plus one, yo. And you talk with my balls in your mouth. Just because we boned you guys in the court today doesn't mean you can come and crash my party. Yo, we're here to be friends, yo, and squash it. So let's chill. Besides, I brought peace offerings. Ecstasy. See, children, you must learn to accept strangers' generosity. Thank you, sir. Hey, yo, fat boy, I brought some chocolate, too. You probably need it to replace some energy after the game. Chow down, fat boy. Now where's that little cheerleader bitch you was after? Ah, <sighs> there she is. Wendy Testicle Burger. Look at those long legs, those curves. Shit, I want a piece. Yo, wait here. 
All right now, Marshall, make your move. She's waiting for you in the closet. Really? Just don't forget what I told you. Ooh, god damn. You got a sweet little hamper there. Mm, let me touch your ass. Hey there. I noticed you on the court today. I love your uniform shorts. They're so fabulous. Are they Sergio Valente? I'm so constipated right now. Hey, right, Big D, let's go do some goodwill hunting. Man, you two suck. Your movies suck, and we all know you shouldn't be movie stars. No talent, punks. Where's the follow-up script, huh? Hey, guys, we're producers now, too. And we're, like, from South Boston, which is hard. And we've done our own fight scenes in goodwill fronting. Produce this, as fuck. <laughs> Please. Okay, okay. We didn't write it, man. The guys at Sleazamax paid someone to rewrite it, man. Come on, D. Let's lead this motherfucker. Yo, was that the A-Team? Yeah, man. <coughs> they snatched back that kid we took from Southwest Park. Oh. Now here's Miss Pristina Gagulera laying down a sweet groove that's guaranteed to bring a lump to your pocket. A girl really wants it night and day A girl really wants it every way A girl really needs just what she got Come on, baby, don't you ever stop. She is so hot. Yo, that slut is hurt. Why you like that ruined bitch anyway? Because she's on TV. And I can see her tits in every video. We have to go. It's all happening this weekend at the fabulous Detroit Pleximax. For the 51st annual Gay Tractor Pull and Punch Sale. Non-stop. Mind-blowing. Piston-pumping. Ass-threatening. Triple digits. Horsepower. All-male action back. Hey, Knip, you, you coming? coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
Is Christina Gagalera coming on soon? I think so. Is she on after NSYNC? Hello, Detroit! Let's hear a big Pleximax welcome for Mr. George Michaels! Well... Where is he? He's probably in the bathroom. Uh, Big D? Yeah? Is that, uh, is your, uh, dick, is that it poking through my stall? See her. Yeah, sure you can. Yeah, my friend Jeffrey here promotes for the newest hot spot. He can get you guys to see Gagalera. I sure can. Here's some free passes to see her at her signing at Dyke Hills Mall. I'll also put you on the list for the after party at Scrotus, the new in spot. <laughs> Thanks! Hey, Big D. Maybe me and you can become better friends like them two guys on Survivor. Yo, Kniff, you all right, man, but don't push your fucking luck. Yo, Marshall, I'm telling you for the last time, you sweat these bitches like this, they're just gonna play you. You wanna fuck this bitch? You treat this bitch like she wants to be treated. Like shit. You get up there, you drop your balls on the table, and say, sign these, bitch. That's motherfucking word. All right, fellas, you wanna be Mark, suit yourself. I'd do what I said. Christina can only sign one item, fellas. So make up your mind and move on. a shame, huh? Can't jump around with the fucking homies no more, can ya? I told you you both wind up with nothing. Damn, Slim. If only I could sample that ass. Yo, I hate to give a bitch like that the time of day, but since you want it so bad, I'll handle it. You guys wait here. Hey, ho. Yeah, you. Yo, son. One autograph, and then get your ass moving. Pristina! I said, hey, yo! Pristina, I'm talking to you! Take that, bitch! Hey, yo, look at me when I'm running game on you. I told you you'd wind up with nothing. Damn, Slim. Now I'll never be able to talk to her. Never. Hmm.
Yo, isn't that Johnny 8-Ball? Johnny, what's cracking? Yeah, Johnny. Thought you left our town to be a big star in the city. Yeah, well, like, I came a conquer man. I gotta meet, I gotta meet Charlie Sheen and Max and Snitches. I, I need to score some meat. My cock is looking like a fucking prune. And that 8-Ball I just blasted. By the way, man, I'm packing some sweet yayo. You know, blow. I got this awesome Peruvian fish scale. You want a line, man? Uh, no. Thanks, Johnny. Hey, need a line? Hey, let's go do a line. Hey, you need a line, honey? Honey, you want a line? What about a line? Yo, son. How come you motherfuckers ain't got no goddamn talent? But you got all these suckers jocking your shit. Yo, LFO could twist your fucking nuts in a freestyle battle and bang them against your fucking chins. Hey, yo. Someone give me a beat to a song that was dope sometime back in the day, all right? Now throw a bass line in there that's been used before. And let me rock this freestyle. <laughs> Yo, I'll never rap without this. Uh. Yeah. Told you that we won't stop. Uh. Yeah. Motherfucker! Check it out, chick. You motherfucking bitch. I took you with a chain. Eat a dick. My style is the best big D forever. You fucking motherfucker. You still wearing leather. Nigga, it ain't cold. Motherfucker, stay cold. Wanna fuck with it? Can't you say hell no? I'm big D. I'm from the hood. Bitch, nigga. Fuck a nigga eat wood. wood, 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 wood. <laughs> Detroit, you motherfucker. Hey there, kid, what's your name? Yo, my name is Slim Shady. You got it, kid. I've seen it before, and it you have. Name Schlucksheimer, big time producer. I have a new pit coming out called Ugly as a Wolf's Ass. The movie sucks, <laughs> but who cares? I have a huge deal. Give me a call. Marshall, I think it's time we hit you to the game. Yo, these motherfuckers don't mean shit. You can't sweat these people. Marshall, we're gonna make you famous. I don't know about this, Slim. I mean, what if we get caught? Marshall, for the last time, if you want all these bitches to ride your dick, all you need to do is be a star. This shit, I'm beyond it. But you could benefit from a few days of some nasty sluts. And just go in my trailer and do what I said. I'm here for- Yes, yes, you're Slim Shady. Hi, I'm Jeff, the director's assistant. Your lines are highlighted. Take about an hour to meditate in your trailer if there's anything I can do for you. Anything to advance my career. Anything at all. in there i don't know but he's probably famous so let's blow him okay okay like all the whores back in high school are going to be so jealous of us dave why is it that if more people see your face like on a magazine or television or something people think you're like more important all of a sudden yeah i mean what makes one person better than another person just because he's seen by more people uh-huh i mean most of these actors models they never went to a top college they they never do anything for anybody yeah. What about doctors, architects, fine literature? Why don't we value that? Yeah. Dave, do you like to suck huge gorilla cock? You like to smoke cock, don't you? Sure. Uh, your ass is on fire, Dave. All right. <laughs> hey, isn't that Fred Savage? Damn, man. How could such a cute kid turn out to be a dumb, ugly motherfucker? That was the best five seconds of my entire life. Yeah. Hey, Slim, I saw you score with those bimbos. You know, I can help you there. I was a total stud back in my frat days in the Ivy League, you know. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot, man. Yeah. Okay, Slim, baby. Just let it flow. Be natural, baby. Okay. Action. Jenny, the asteroid's coming. But with all that metal and my muscles, I know I can save the day. Who is this? 
This is no professional. I went to a $30,000 a year grammar school in Manhattan, and I have too much class to work with the street trash. Remember, throw at least one tantrum a day on the set. You'll eventually get fired, but bitches will sweat you. You'll be a bigger pimp than Marky Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark. Oh. Did we get that? Oh, baby. Slim, baby. Raw energy, baby. Please, Slim. Please let me in. I know I'm a total bitch, but please let me in. Prisoners 7 through 11B, Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, Big D, Ken Kniff, and Dave, serving one year each for what the fuck? Ah! Peace out, sucker. This is my job now. We're worried. Yeah. The incarceration of my crew by the man, Big Brother, or sometimes I call him William Shatner. How it all begins. You're gonna get us all double erection detention. Get out of here. We're busting you guys out of here. Why? You didn't see those black trucks and Secret Service guys rolling through town? Something's going down. What the hell is this place? <laughs> wow, man. Check it out. Our operation is running smoothly. Soon, all the atrocious entertainment products will be buried for good, never to resurface. Ugh. Thank God, sir. No. Thank the Republicans. Those fucking Democrats suck so much celebrity cock. You just get those kids in the hood to vote Democrat, okay? In return, you can tell all your friends you hung with the president. President Clinton, Dr. Dre, line one. Word the fuck up, man. <laughs> Disgusting. Selling out the Lincoln bedroom like it's some Asian massage parlor. Now we're in control. Don Johnson CDs! The fuck? Throw that shit out! VCR tape! Showgirls? Free Jack? Reindeer games? Goodwill fronting? This is awful. Cool, man. Polly Shore videos. So... You little bastards were trying to interfere with the operation, eh? What operation? We were just- The items being buried down here must never resurface. Never. And now that you punks know where the site is, you'll rot the rest of your days away in prison. Men, 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 men. The African in the little hat was the ruler of the underground. His name, Lil Beanie Hat. Uh, where can I score some weed, man? Excuse me, but that little beanie is fabulous. Where can I get one? I simply must have one. Fuck off, Whitey, before you get shamed. Who's got the juice now? Yo, I ain't even supposed to be in here yet. I ain't been convicted. I'll see y'all in a minute. Who are you? Hi, I'm Daryl Strawberry. 1983 National League Rookie of the Year. As Kniff grew in power, running the prison drug and book rings, many sought his protection. But there was one rite of initiation in our cipher. The Arabian Goggles. Damn, Ken. Have you heard any word on Slim? Yeah, man. You gotta break him out. I'm using all my connects. 
I told Slim not to dismember his ex-girlfriend like that. Kniff, when are we getting some new drugs into this motherfucker? Slim, visitor. Slim, you white trash con. I knew you'd amount to nothing. I knew it. Why well, just came to gloat? Those titties you got me, they're paying off. And I got a rich man now, and he's got me wrapped in minks and diamonds, and you are just smelly shit. Bitch, now consider this a refund. Watch a man drop you so quick when he sees you flat-chested. You want him back? Go pawn those rings on your finger and go get me and my crew a top lawyer. I heard a rumor. He's been freestyling in solitary for a week now, bro. Like, I walked by, and he's not even making sense anymore. He's freestyling about gibberish. I fucking hate you. I can't stand you. I'll rip your titties off, and then I'll hand you. You're ugly. You won't hug me. You're dumb. You're stupid. I'm fat and lazy and crazy. You think I'm shady? I am shady, you stupid bitch. Take your silicone implants. Now you got a slim chance of fucking with me ever again. I've got your silicone. You can't fuck with me, but I'm still alone in my cell. Mad as hell. Might as well give you some more shit to sell. Damn, Daryl. Your ass is a fiend. I know, boss. I know. But I get the Joneses real bad. What I wouldn't give for a line and a whore. Tell you what. You prove your loyalty to my crew, and we'll talk about letting you team up with Dave to handle the drug ring. You know the O'Smiley brothers? The O'Smiley brothers? They're crazy. Yep, but if you want to be down with us, you have to give the blondo smiley brother the Arabian goggles. He'll kill me. That's the biggest insult you could give a man. I know, but that's the price of initiation, my man. Last time, Dal Strawberry was still yet to dispense the Arabian goggles and thereby earn his place in our motherfucking crew. Dude. Shamas! Wake up! I just got disgraced by the Arabian goggles. Liam, you fool. We must get revenge. Okay, guys. Dave, you and Daryl will run the drug rings. All profits will go to our defense appeal fund. Big D, I'll seduce the warden, and we'll blackmail him to get Slim out of solitary. Hmm. Rule one, Daryl. Don't get high off your own supply. So stay away from the shit, bro. Sure, as long as we can keep Robert Downey Jr. away from the stash. Junior. Nothing, nothing at all. Bullshit. You're snorting Robert Downey Jr. because he used up your stash. You're a fucking fiend.
Yo, I'm banning you from the crew, dog. You lost all your privileges now. <laughs> Yo, we got a clean house. We can't have fiends on the fucking team. Yo, Strawberry's a loose link, and I think I know just who we can get to replace him. Ew. Fellas, meet Knuckles. Yo, we got real cool when we was in solitary together. Knuckles, you know what you gotta do to be down. Word up. Kill Dale Strawberry. Yo, Slim Saw Strawberry Storton Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> this fucking junkie OD'd on us. Shit, bitch. I done flatlined before. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I'm back and ready to play. <laughs> Of course, for me getting you guys out, your ex expects her breasts back. Whatever. I can't believe that lawyer got us off. <laughs> Yo, he represents some of the illest crooks in town. I told you dumbasses I'd take care of it. <laughs> Alright, dog, peace. <laughs> hey, yo, give us a shot when your bid's over. No doubt, yo. So you guys were really locked up. I can't believe it. It's nothing. We handled it. Hey, Marshall, here's the homework that you missed. Uh, Auntie, where did you put my PlayStation? God damn it! I told your runt ass it was in the closet. Uh, ma'am, you're smoking a tampon. Oh, shit! I must have switched my cools with my Kotex again. Hey, look, it's one of those psychic Ouija boards. Nice. Let's channel dead people, bro. Yo, that shit doesn't work. Come on, let's at least give it a try. <laughs> Man, who the fuck we gonna contact from the dead? I'll let the board select who chooses first. Let's pull back the new kids on the block. They were so hot. Okay, now everyone chant. Chant what? I don't know, just chant something. What the fuck? Oh shit, it worked! Chill out, you guys. We performed a seance and contacted the ghosts of the new kids. Except they don't look so good now. Whoa, we're not dead. Yes, you are. Hey, we're working on a comeback, all right? Well, obviously a higher power thinks you're dead. All right, now it's my turn, bro. What the? Whoa, it worked. Who is it? Kurt Cobain, bro. Cool, let's start a band with it. Yeah. Who the fuck's that? Beats me, bro. He has a lot of style. It's Gianni Versace, you ass faces. Mmm, I love your clothes. Mm. I like your style too. But this click, well, we must make you more glamorous. Let me take you all shopping and we'll party, party, party. It is Halloween, no? And you need most of work of all.
Young's jam sucks, but I like this Versace dude. Yeah, he sure know how to throw a motherfucking party. You think he gay? Yeah, I must have called some of my girlfriends to fix up with you sexy young boys, huh? <laughs> I don't know, but the dude's a pimp. Hiya, Cindy. Johnny. Yes, yes, I am back. Some wonderful boys resurrected me. You must come to this wonderful party I'm having. Bring Naomi and a Madonna and a Cindy. Come on, baby. There's gotta be a reason why you're married to John Stamos. Yo, he's got a big-ass dick, don't he? Mm, big dick. Mm, where? Hey, baby. Yo, John Stamos, you ain't shit. And Full House was cold trash. Of course. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. But I'm rich, hung like a horse, and just look at my wife. Now, on the other hand, if I was Joey Lawrence... Whoa! You guys want some punch? Whoa! Yo, you got a point there, Stamos. Yo, you think you can hook me up with those twins? You know, them, them little girls? Yo, they look bad as fuck nowadays. Of course I can. They're total whores. Yo, I got this chat room shit all figured out. Every fine chick is really some fat, ugly chick just posing. So in order to get Marshall laid... We set him up on a date with some fat old bitch. Because the fat old bitches will probably be the hot chicks, bro. Perfect logic, yo. What are you guys up to? Shit, nothing. This looks like a beauty. Yo, just call me the ghetto Cupid. This is fucking awesome. What's awesome? awesome, awesome. Follow me, bro. Lick it, bro. It's awesome. Ah! Yeah, what the yeah, fuck's up with that, that crackhead? It beats me, bro. Marshall. You feel it yet, bro? Shit, I don't feel a thing. I must be immune. Yo, Marshall, I got you a date with a bad bitch tonight. Really? Don't fuck this up. Dave, I still don't feel... Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me, but you didn't happen to make a date with Marshall Mathers online today, did you? Actually, I did. I posed as a fat, ugly chick so that men would date me for who I really am. Hold on, he's right here. I'm telling you, don't fuck this up, virgin. You were so sexy in your emails today. What do you say we, like, go to the bathroom and get kinky? <laughs> I like I your style. Damn, that virgin blew it again! The fuck?! It beats me, bro. <laughs> hey there, toots. Fox Kavanaugh here. Sue Kavanaugh's dad. That's Kavanaugh. <laughs> what do you think about that, Toots? Wow. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, great. Now, I've been here five seconds, and you haven't told me shit. What kind of salesman are you? 
Kavanaugh here. <laughs> okay, what's happening? Let's see. Yes, Sue Kavanaugh. The teacher speaking with you will be Miss Verna. Oh, my detention. <laughs> You're a soft fox. <laughs> okay, hold on. What's your name again? Fuck you. That's my name. You know why? Because you drove a Honda to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. Because only one thing counts in this life. Sweet greenbacks, you dumb fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You win, you win. <clears throat> hey, Slim, what's crackulating? Hey, where your parents, boy? Damn, son. You better not be hanging out with that dumb little white boy of yours. He ain't nothing but trouble. Now, where's that deadbeat father of yours? <coughs> oh, how you doing, son? <coughs> I knew you'd ruin parent night, you deadbeat son of a bitch. Big D, you know why your name D? It's because your father's a fucking deadbeat. Hey. At least you got parents. Come on, get up. It's parent-teacher night. <laughs> but Dad, why are you so ashamed of me? That's why. Now listen, take this hush money and go buy yourself some friends. But I got an A-plus in history class. That's real nice. What happened to you? Your parents didn't show? Nah. That bitch didn't even get off the bed, did she? She rolled over, but just peed on me. Look, let me break it down for you. It's not that Dave is a bad child. It's just that he makes bad choices. Do you have any idea who his friends are? Let me tell you what he and his friends did last week. week, week. This is gonna be so sweet, bro. People are gonna freak out. This might be the best prank ever. When third period lets out, there'll be animals everywhere. <laughs> They'll have to suspend class. Come on, you stupid animals! Move! Oh shit, man, let's get the fuck out of here! Whoa. So that's what happened to them darn animals. I thought they'd just up and run off. Why would they have done that, Zeke? Zeke? Zeke, where are you? It's date night. That's it. We're like oh. a pig. Oh, where was I? Responsible for massacring cute, unsuspecting animals in the escalator, please report to the principal's fun place for cookies and milk. Oh, fucking A, that never works. Okay, listen up. A top agent from the ASPCA will be here in ten minutes to investigate the crime. No one will leave the building. Whoa, is that? Rosie O'Donnell? Hello? Okay. The building is sealed and will remain so until somebody starts talking, people. Uh, well, isn't it possible that the animals came here on their own and wanted to die? Sort of like the Jim Jones cult back in the 70s? Hello? Okay, that's news to me. Just shut the fuck up! Janet Jones, what do you want in return so you can keep your fucking mouth shut? That's easy. I just want you kids to play shoots and ladders with me in my special room where special things happen to special people. Don't even try it, Janet Jones. I saw that episode of Different Strokes. 
You want these kids to play perverted games in the back of your bike shop, then you'll start taking pictures of them in their underwear. No, I only want to play board games, please. Alright, this shit is getting too weird. Let's end this Scooby-Doo style. Let's see who Janet Jones really is. Tom Cruise? No, wait. Miss Verna, the teacher. But then who's telling the story to Dave's parents? What were you expecting, Saddam Hussein? Slim Shady Slim Shady What's cracking, bitch? This shit, I'm beyond it. But you could benefit from a few days of some nasty sluts. You're Chinese, bitch. You laughed your balls off watching Slim Shady on the World Wide Web. But did you ever wonder how this magic really happens? Word the fuck up, man. No talent, punks. What the fuck am I talking about? This is, uh... I'm doing voiceovers right now. Don't push your fucking luck. That's easy. I just want you kids to play shoots and ladders with me. Slim Shady, yeah. Take that, bitch. Motherfucker. Hey, yo, what's cracking, bitch? <laughs> All right. It's really about Eminem, um, and there's a lot of sides to him. What? Because we thought it'd be a shame for the world not to see, or at least his fans not to see, because the rest of the world doesn't give a fuck. Yo, Marshall, I'm telling you for the last time, you sweat these bitches like this, they're just going to play you. The MTV came to me and M and said, we think you guys could come up with something. We think you could come up with a show. I have a huge deal. Give me a call. And they had this idea to do this, like, guilty conscience style thing. What the fuck? We do have, you know, have this idea we want to do something funny. And they said, well, what is it? And we said, I don't know, we'll get back to you. I'll handle it. Paul and M have this sort of, this creative idea, as Paul had said, with characters. Action. Jenny. The idea was to do webisodes, which are three to five minutes. I know, I can save the day. I met with loads of animators, and I met these guys, Gifted Men, through our agent. Yeah, yeah. Told you that we won't stop. Uh, uh. We are Gifted Men, and we are Gifted Men. <laughs> Disgusting. We basically co-produced the show. We wrote the theme song, do the animation. They had two shows that were already on the web. We were just kind of running this chicken shack sweatshop in Hollywood that cranked uh, cartoons out. The back seat of a Cadillac would have been maybe nicer than their first office. They realized they could just take advantage of us and it worked out for everyone. <laughs> Gifted Men, though, was actually doing animation and was delivering every week. Produce this, as fuck! Usually it's, it's, it's fun to do the cartoons. <laughs> it allows me to slip into character and be able to make up my own shit sometimes as we go along. And it's cool, you know, it's... It's more like we, we could both vibe, like, cause he's like a funny cat. And we figured if it was a cartoon involving M, that it had to be, you know, it had to be extreme. Don't push your fucking luck. Wanted to have at least some substance and, you know, some sort of intelligence behind it. We wanted it sort of to be like a dysfunctional happy days. We actually went through a slew of different writers and, you know, it had to be high quality stuff. Matt got it and knew what we were trying to do with it. That's the price of initiation, my man. This was really an opportunity to get, to vent a little, you know, and to get crazy. Ooh.
Damn, suck this cock, ho! Also to do something funny. I gotta meet, I gotta meet Charlie Sheen and Max and Snitches. So I jumped at the opportunity. We locked him up in a room until he was done. Um, and we paid him very little. Um, but we're bigger than him. Check it out, trick. Just in you case you give a shit, here's how they really do it. So what about the Beastie Boys part? I don't have a problem with the Beastie Boys part. I just don't want Slim to say that he likes them. Can we have one of them wearing an Eminem socks t-shirt? And, you know, obviously with anything, you go over the script and you make the changes. We still get, like, 19-year-old groupies. I like to, to know that I'm writing the story that the producers and, and or the actors agree upon. Can we just get rid of that character? <laughs> We're not doing it for shock value. We just kind of say what people are thinking. The guy who we have writing the, the series often comes up with some ideas on who to pick on. You know every time he sees some overhyped bullshit celebrities gotta beat him down? And sometimes I think it's just uh, people that he particularly doesn't care for. All right, big guy, let's dispense with the reality check. So there's not even anything personal by it. Step off, G-Dog! Excuse me, that's my agent. The Big D character is based on just like a school bully, and I don't think it's one school bully in particular. Big D's the kind of guy where you just see him in the street, he sees someone in the street, and will just step to them and, and give him his peace of mind. Ken Kniff is just, you know, the, the, the funny gay character. Kniff is, is primarily, he's the point guard through which the, the offense is run for the plot. Susan is just like based on sort of cute, alternative chick who dyes her hair purple. You know, Dave is the stoner kid. And Marshall is based on the pre-Eminem days, pre-rapping Marshall Mathers. Usually I do Marshall, I do Slim, I do Ken Kniff. He's adorable. I usually try, like, like a lot of the guests, little, little guest appearances and shit, I usually try them. If I can't get them, then somebody else will get them. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. To do the voiceovers, I don't gotta get into character. Like, we, there's, there's no like little ritual I go through or anything. It's not like, um, like I gotta sit there and amp myself to do it. You just, you see the line and just run with it. He looks like a narc. Hold on, talk about this on. He looks like a narc. Call me Screech, I'm new in town. Hey, can you show me where room 203 is? Everybody's always relating something to a movie or a part. I saw you in that movie, The Beach, biatch, and you suck too, motherfucker. I like um, the D character. Don't ever click the fucking channel, you goddamn bitch. Do that, do that way that, man, don't ever click when you were doing that one. I do all kind of characters as far as, you know, how much they pay. My favorite episode would probably be the South Park one. I think all the guys involved are big fans of South Park and, you know, we love the movie and everything like that, but, you know, we had to beat the shit out of their characters. How can you talk with my boss in your mouth? I don't know. I kind of like the Oz episode where uh, Ken Kniff, you know, grabs Adebisi's hat. When I beat up Maze. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker! Check it out, chick! You motherfucker, bitch! I'll choke you with a chick! Eat a dick! And the Marshall dream sequence is a personal favorite. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, ask and think, you know, is, is the guy wild? Is the guy crazy? You can just tell from the sophistication of his lyrics. If I read a script and I'm not feeling it, then I'm not gonna do it. But anyone who puts that amount of time and quality you know, into his songs, that work ethic carries over into, you know, I assume all, all of his creative endeavors. Yeah, a lot of people say that people are made fun of and it's obviously stretches these bounds, but to me it's just, it's a funny show. As long as it- If it, if it wasn't funny, then we wouldn't want to do it. We wouldn't be, want to be involved. Yeah. Man, shut the fuck up. We actually did one episode that everybody agreed just didn't work. It's that punk Slim Shady again. The first script was wrote by um, Gifted Men. Shit happens. 
It just really didn't, it didn't really fit in with the sensibility of what we were trying to do with the cartoon. Nothing sweeter than a mother's love. M wanted to be, you know, more goofy, more South Park style. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Half of the pilot episode ended up being used. So check it out, Dave. There was a, like a fart joke that was used. <laughs> yeah, too. that too. Eminem is, uh, you know, he's a lightning rod now for any type of attention. Yo, that shit doesn't work. When he's not around, it's kind of like... Cold trash! Whatever. I dig it. And I know how this shit works. Now we're in control. Yo, these motherfuckers don't mean shit. But now you're doing this. It's just funny. You know, and if it's, uh, you know, if it offends people, then, you know, it's too bad. It's just, it's a cartoon. Marshall, we're gonna make you famous. Well, kitties, I'll wrap it up. Hey, what the fuck are y'all looking at? Slim Shady. Hey, yo, what's cracking, bitch? the big time. <laughs> Suckers. Now on video. Rent it today. Soundtrack available on Thumb Records. Amanece otro día en la jungla de asfalto la pechera en el pecho y un cañón en la mano Los muchachos del barrio con el alma de acero Ciudadanos comunes, profesión o lo peros Su presa, 
Porque se vale todo si es por sobrevivencia Cuidados y pasando por cualquier avenida Te matan la esperanza y te roban la vida Comentan que en las calles de Nueva York no se duerme Que no confíes en nada Lieutenant Kumstein. It's that punk Slim Shady again. He got into the squad car when I was in the donut shop, took my hemorrhoid ring, and put a fried egg on a goddamn seat. Jesus, that fried egg really messed up your pants, Lieutenant. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. How the fuck did this donut get here? Damn! Tastes like a policeman's ass. All right, kids. That was Marilyn Hansen with Ass Full of Dope from their brand new Sting tribute CD, Lunch with the Devil. The Devil? Hey, now that sounds like a heat seeker. Marshall, you panty waste little shit. You've been stealing my cigarettes again and stuffing the box with feminine napkins. Don't think I can't tell the difference when I'm trying to light up a Tampax, and I sure as hell can't staunch my monthlies with a menthol smoky treat. Even if they're 100th Aunt Sue? Marshall, you didn't tell me your boyfriend Dave was paying us a visit. What the hell would either of you Nellies know about a woman's privates anyway? And don't sit so close to the TV. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing sweeter than a mother's love, eh, Marshall? <laughs> Check it out, Dave. Now, here's Miss Pristina Gagulera laying down a sweet groove that's guaranteed to bring a lump to your pocket. A girl really wants it night and day. A girl really wants it every way. A girl really needs just what she got. So come on, baby, don't you ever stop. Fun boys, don't miss Pristina tomorrow, making a special in-person appearance at Dyke Hills Mall. It's all happening this weekend at the fabulous Detroit Plexidome for the 51st annual Day Tractor Pull and Punch Sale. Non-stop, mind-blowing, piston-pumping, ass-threatening, triple digit, horsepower, all-male action back. Man, I love Pristina. Leather pants, blonde hair, blue eyeshadow. She's the kind of wholesome teenage slut dreams are made of. But when she says a girl really wants it, well, you think I could be it? I mean, sometimes my aunt calls me it. Dude! Dude, there's only one way to find out. We're going down to the mall. Dyke Hills, here we come! Sweet Jesus in heaven! No nephew of mine that sucked mother's milk off these teats is going to any gay tractor pull. Uh, aunt Sue, Christina Gagler isn't going to be at the gay tractor pull. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just bring me back some goddamn fudge. <laughs> 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 